Kevin Ellup on set from ksound.com. Let's review this new plugin that was placed in my hand by Akusonas called Regroover. Okay, so Regroover have been out for quite some time and they reached out to me and said, hey, check this out. Let us know what you think about it. So I have it in my, my session already. So I have Regroover here, which is pretty cool. This thing does a lot of neat things. I, I was checking it out earlier. So um, basically, if you ever experience the moment where you want to take a loop track or something like that, Everything is is being pre-made for you, which is dope, by the way, you know. But sometimes you want to take different elements from the loop track itself and kind of move things around. So, like, for instance, this track here. Sound great. Love it. But I want to move a thing, you know, move a couple of things around for my track. So... Because Regroover only works with Wave at the moment. All right, so we're going to bring this in here. And let's listen back to this. Let's turn it down just a little bit. All right. It's way too fast. Um, this is something new that um, Studio One 4, uh, this, new, this new way of, um, maybe they did it before, but I'm just not noticing the audio loop is uh something that they're implementing even more so with mvp loops or whatever um the cool thing about this is i need to uh, time stretch this here um more like a half a half time type effect um and if i if i was to do that with regular wave it would sound weird but if i do it this way with this file type it doesn't sound too weird it sounds okay. Trust me, it sounds even worse with uh, with just wave. So Regroover does not support this wave file. So what I have to do here is actually bounce it down in place. Okay, I had a command and I just did that just now. All right, we could bring in Regroover here. I'm gonna unmute it, and we could just pretty much drag and drop right here. And you can also drag and drop from your loop section or from your file, whatever you, wh wherever you have. I think it just have to be in Wave, and it will analyze immediately. And so we can just go ahead and mute this. We can go back to the top of the song. Sounds cool, but I want to change. I want to change things up. So what Regroover did was it analyzed the track and it best put the things that they think you know based on frequency so it split everything up here so i'm going to solo this and as we can hear so on here is the crash and more so the snare with the reverb the, the resonance of the snare right and then the rest of the snare or the uh the attack of the snare so that's the kick and that's the hi-hats right here now based on how sensitive we want to make this we can unlock the other layers below it say i wanted the uh these to unlock if i wanted to be you know, if there's more things I wanted to, you know, split across. I think four layers is fine. So we got a crash. So we got a crash, snare, kick, and hi-hats. So I'm I'm pretty cool with that. I'm going to lock this in place just so this these tracks or these layers won't be tampered with. And we got this toggled on. And let's just double click here. Let's bring that in like that. And let's split it. So it brought it down, I assume. So let's play this part.
right? That's pretty cool. So if I solo this one here, I could have brought it back a little bit, but there's still some, a little bit of the crash right there. So that's that's pretty cool. I I dig that. You can also like double click the transient itself. You know, got to turn this back on. I can double double click. Okay, this has to be unlocked. You know what I mean? I can double click wherever I want and grab stuff. So that's cool. So so this is my crash. This is more of my snare. And the cool thing about this is you can also loop each section. So say for instance, say let's turn on the grid. Where's right so say like I just want you know what I mean Oh, I can move this down. So you could set your your loop points within Regroover. This is pretty cool. Okay, so another cool thing about this is you can grab different samples according to what you select, and you can put them anywhere. Like for instance, if I just want this 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 one crash here left all by itself. Um you have to pay attention to where you are so it's like it's like a smart tool built within this program as well which is pretty cool so towards the bottom you just press and hold and i can bring this over and create a whole new new track and um you know what i mean so let's say i deactivate disable that you know what i mean that which is kind of good this thing is doing a lot right now um let me just mute this it's also some sort of drum machine if you will so the, the same method dragging and dropping audio from within right you can do the same thing inside here and just add it to different pads here so let's see five let's see where is that right so C5 right there on my keyboard and say, for instance, um, let's play this. Say I want this and I want to put that on my C sharp five there. And let's see what is this doing? Okay, so say I want that. I'll just put that there. I'm just going to like double click here and just move it right here, right? And we can come over to the editor side and voila, we have more functions we can play with. So I can go ahead and, and also do further fine tuning. So say, uh, let's find it on our key. So this is my kick. I think I want to trim this down to like right here. I also got the envelope, got effects here. So say you want to add EQ, compression, You know, right? 
right? Okay, so the other cool thing about this is that any of these can be routed out. So I can route these out individually, these different layers here, or I can route out the pads on the separate layer. So if I go back to the editor and say that I want this one routed out, I'm going to start at five because the other four is already routed. I don't want this to be six this to be seven and this is going to be eight i need to go here and activate those the pads are separate to these which is pretty cool i i love how they have this mapped out this is this is pretty cool. I can see, I can honestly say, I can see myself using this all the time. This is brilliant here. So, say from 5, I can actually select all of these, from 5 to 8, we're going to mute those. And I want to hear these, and I have to turn it on, obviously. Right? right so everything is routed these different these four different layers and say that's not the goal like i just showed you guys you can work with the pads instead i i, I this thing is pretty amazing how you can just take a loop and it doesn't it, it doesn't stop here guys the, you know you already know in our world of creativity something that's designed for one thing can also be used for something else so i'm sure you could take this thing and you can just you guys be creative as possible throw in some melody and you know just different things i think it splits things up according to the frequency and you can use this thing and just chop away and just do all types of cool stuff if you need to split stuff do amongst the different keys you know what i mean you can make it complicated as possible you change the layer to from four to six um you could change the activity to high you got your different gates you, you got your compressor your eq you also got saturation in here so i mean this thing is crazy and like i say you got the drum editor and you have the ability to do the fine tuning just just taking away stuff um and drag and drop you know the drag and dropping nation did not stop is it is on and going this is the drop this is the drop community 2018 because <laughs> we could do that inside of studio one four all day long um so this is pretty awesome stuff here say i want to add a compressor okay i think this was my kick right right I had a thing coming out even more 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 effective with whatever plugin I add to a next and that's pretty much it guys um you know, you you can always go in and label this stuff. I mean, and then after that, it's just, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't, man, this thing is, is pretty amazing. I like it. Um, You obviously could do a little bit more than what I just mentioned. You can obviously mix everything down. There's the different other options here. You can expand, uh, expansion kit pads. I'm not sure what any of that is yet, but like, um you can save the project obviously you can like recall stuff i mean this is this is nuts right here this is some pretty awesome i this is really great you guys <laughs> i'm pretty much introducing the fact that i will be talking more about this on this channel 
then that is just, this will be a part of the the regular workflow. Big ups to you, Akasonas. Regroove it. It's pretty awesome. I'm looking for for the next product you guys put in my hands. I have no problem talking about it. This is good. This is great work. I'm going to go ahead and finish up here. Remember, guys, my name is Ellip from ksound.com. Remember, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture. Stay creative without rules. Mm -hmm.